Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So today um, we have something exciting that we're going to be doing. We're going to be starting the Iron Eagle campaign. So uh, what is the Iron Eagle campaign? The Iron Eagle campaign is a DCS Liberation v4.1.1 campaign that I put together. Uh, it's based off of the original Normandy uh, campaign that uh, was generated um, I guess by the DCS creators or or by somebody in the community, and I added a bunch of stuff because um, instead of just having you know this straight line that goes towards Paris, uh, Paris is somewhere over here, I believe. Um, what I've done is I've added some fobs and some southern air bases as well, uh, linked them all up, put in new targets. Uh, this northern uh, this northern fob I also put together. I occupied this particular town, put and a bunch of juicy targets um, and what we're going to do is we're going to uh, we only have three bases we have two over here in England and then this uh, foothold that we have I probably should have added some fobs or something um, you know out here in western France um, because in reality you probably would have some fobs over there that would help reinforce your front lines but we didn't do that so we're not going to worry about it um, so today we are going to take off and I believe that yeah, we're going to just we're going to start off easy uh, because I don't know what I'm doing in the Warbirds yet. I'm not very good at them. So we're going to start off easy with a, a bar cap with a, a P-51D. Hopefully we don't crash on takeoff and we can, um, you know, kind of get our feet wet on this new campaign. And so this is probably going to be one of many um, missions that we do for this campaign. We are going to continue to do the other campaign as well, the Syria at War series, until it's finished. And I plan to do this one until it's finished as well. And then hopefully, cross your fingers, we'll be able to create some more campaigns um, with jets. Uh, so like a Syria at War type series, but um, I'm thinking maybe having it done in uh, Iran, within the Persian Gulf. I think that, that would be fun. Um, but I'm trying to figure out how to do um dcs liberation version 5 they've made a lot of really cool changes um but i don't completely understand them yet and i'm struggling to put together a campaign over there uh so for now we're gonna do this all right without further ado i will stop here and we will see you all right we are in so we're just gonna finish our setup here we're gonna add some rudder okay I'm going to turn on my gun sight. And we're going to set that to gyro. We'll uncage the gyro. And off we go. Get some gas. Keep feathering in more gas. More gas. This thing is so unstable when it takes off. No, no. All right, I think we're up. Oh my goodness! Now we got to put our. All right. Oh boy, that is crazy. That looks like our buddy over there, so let's go rejoin them. put our gear up. That would be good.
Everybody's over to the left. Don't see them. Should be able to see them. Should just be right out in front. are the north. I don't see them. This is why I should have made me lead. And then they'd follow me. Instead of me trying to hunt for them unsuccessfully. This way it says. Eh, I think we're just gonna do our own thing. All right, where are the front lines? We're gonna head... 136. I should have... compass in here somewhere. Do I really not have a compass in here? That would be just tragic. Oh boy, it's a compass I don't understand. Even better. Way. 
I should have put some rockets or something on here. our altitude. One thousand. Alright, we need to get up a little higher. I gotta be at like 10,000 feet by now. Let's see what it says. Yeah, 12,000. I misread that. Okay, I was gonna say that's. This seems a lot higher than 1,000 feet. So I guess I just fly around until we see something. I have no idea how to check my fuel. Like the amount of fuel I have. I'm sure there's a way. I don't know it. I wonder if I can request bogey dope. Wouldn't that be funny? Nope, I cannot.
Well, it's all quiet. Except for this engine, which is obviously... What's it say? If there's an external way of checking how much fuel I have. Ooh, wait, what's this? Those look like baddies. Oh no. Alright. Those baddies? There's something. There's stuff. I don't know what they are, but there's something. They're little itty bitty specks. There are two of them. They're right about where the. Yeah, they're. Yeah, they're right in my circle of the crosshair or the reticle but I don't know what they are we're gonna go fly out and investigate and see what this is probably a death sentence but hey you know what we gotta get better sentence this somehow look around make sure we don't see anything else we're gonna go investigate Let's see if they show up on F10, the F10 map yet. They do not. Okay. And I did double check and make sure it wasn't some crap on my uh, monitor. We're not going to go that far south. I don't want to get separated from my... from my buddies. I've learned my lesson in other... in other things. What the hell?
I'm getting out. Holy hell. Well, we found the bad guys. Holy shit. What are they? No, stop zooming in. Thank you. Huh. Well, that sucks. Well, we found them. All right, well, we'll end here. That was an interesting start to our first mission. I guess our... Uh, I guess our, our thing to learn here is uh, do not, once you see some baddies, don't, uh, don't turn around. I guess I didn't learn my lesson. Alright, so we are in debrief. <laughs> uh, that was a really uh, short and eventful mission, but we'll go ahead and accept the results. Um, we lost our Mustang. Uh, they lost a couple of things. They looked like maybe frontline units, and this may be, I believe these are like bombers or something. JU-88, A4, I don't... I'll be honest, I don't know much about the uh, equipment in World War II, um, other than some of the, the you know, the big ones, the P-51 and the, the uh, Spitfire and, and some of those other, you know, more famous. Uh, so it looks like the JU-88 is a bomber of some kind. So they lost two of those. So we're going to go ahead and accept that. And that was kind of you know, a wash. Um, and we'll, uh, you know, from a, I guess from a air superiority and, and everything else advantage, uh, we have an advantage from air superiority, but from a frontline and economic perspective, we are, are disadvantaged. And I tried to make that the case, right? We've got, um, so this, this whole um, campaign relies on, strong German uh, ground forces, and we have to have the, um, the disadvantage in that particular aspect because we just have this small beachhead. So um, anyways, this is where we're going to leave it for uh, mission one. It was a little bit of an abysmal failure on my part, but hopefully in the next couple of missions, um, we'll redeem ourselves. All right, well, thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.